second, I will also take this opportunity to thank my children ministry teacher for helping them. Once again, we children want to thank our elders for giving us opportunity to celebrate 12 Sabbath every quarter. And what do we have to say to that? Faith is the substance of things hoped for, 
but the evidence of him not seen yet. Let's look at the life of Sarah. It was by faith. Sarah herself also received strength to conceive seed and bore a baby when she was past of age. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. Because the Bible says, For he who comes to God must know that he is, and is a great rewarder to those who diligently seek him. Amen. Amen. The faith of Abel. It was by faith that Abel offered a more pleasant sacrifice than his brother him. Through this, he was considered righteous. Which sacrifice did you offer to God? As a Christian, I ask again, which sacrifice did you offer to God? Is it by sight, food, or money? It was by faith. The Bible says, it was by faith. Rahab, the prostitute, did not perish with those who were disobedient because she had given a friendly welcome to the spies. It was also by faith that the walls of Jericho fell down after they had been circled for seven days. It was also by faith that Isaac imputed future, future blessings on Jacob and Esau. It was by faith when Jacob was dying, blessed each of the sons of Joseph, bowing in worship over the head of his staff. By faith also, at the end of his life, he made mention of the exodus of Israel and gave directions concerning his bones. All these were done by the generations of Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, Moses, and the rest. It was also by faith that Moses was able to lead the people of Israel out of Egypt and brought them back to Canaan by crossing the Red Sea. It was also by faith when Moses grew up, he refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. By faith, Abraham, when he was tested, opened up Isaac, and he who had received the promise was in the act of offering up his holy son. Amen. 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 Then let's turn our Bibles to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3. By faith we understand that the universe we was the universe was created by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. Amen. Amen. It was by faith that the world was created by God. Through this, we understand that God is a creator. Amen. Amen. We understand that God is a creator. Do you understand? Yes. My dear parents, do you really understand that God is a creator? Yes. Why don't you serve him? Why don't you praise him? Today's topic is going to be an encouragement for all of us. Now let's talk about hope, Job's life. Job was a man full of faith and hope. And when his wife called him to curse God and die, he didn't do it because he had faith in the Lord that all his belongings would be back to him, even though he lost his cattle, his seven sons, his wife, his belongings, all that he had, he lost it. But God never thought he was he was back to him because he didn't do it. But all his belongings were back to him at the appointed time. And what do you have to say to that? Amen. Wait for the Lord, and all shall be well with you. Have faith, hope in the Lord, and it shall be well with you. Through Jesus. Amen. So these three remain. Therefore, we should love each other as ourselves. Have faith and hope in God. We should be like Job. We should have faith and hope in God, so that it should be well with you. 
we will, we will no more cry. We will no more shout. But God is going to do all for us when he is coming. We are all going to join him. Be angels. Go with the angels and sing praises and shout hallelujah that God, you are my refuge. Amen. 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 We will call our elder friends to come and pray to God that he should give us wisdom. He should, he should ask God for wisdom and also faith and hope and love for God to us.